All right, we're back at the Honda Pilot. So I had this issue with the transmission oil pressure switch. There was a TSB out a few years ago for the 2020 Honda Pilots and certain earlier years. So two years after I got that replaced uh, under warranty, the exact same issue came back and the code also came back. So let's check it out and see what this code is. DTC. There you go, the same code P0848. So apparently these uh, switches go bad every so couple of years and even the ones that are out now will go bad eventually unless they change or update the pressure sensor switch. And unfortunately I am out of warranty so I'm going to have to buy a brand new OEM part. There are cheaper ones on Amazon for like 30, 40 bucks. Don't buy those. The MSRP on this one is around $135. You can find the OEM ones for around 100 if you search around. I'll have a link for the Amazon one in my description. Uh, but be careful when you go out to Honda dealers. Uh, my local one tried to overcharge me. They wanted $179.99 and I told them to F off. So do your due diligence and find the cheapest one OEM that you can find and let's get this switch sensor replaced. Alright, now they got the battery compartment out and the air intake, you can be looking for this switch right here. There's a clip that you push and gets the connector out. Really easy. Um, the most difficult part is getting this battery out because there's a connector that goes to the case over here. Not sure what this is for, but gonna look it up. Don't mind the battery, it's old. Gonna get it replaced. But anyways, get yourself a 22 and uh, unscrew this uh, pressure switch right there. All right, I got it out. There's a slight dribble of transmission fluid there. Nothing to be alarmed about, no need for a pan. But anyways, this is the one that got the TSB'd OEM from the Honda dealership. Only lasted two years. Let's get that new one. All right here, this is the part number. Right here, let's get it open. All right, so apparently they changed the colors. The new one is the black old one is the green so far it looks somewhat identical Let's see here all right got the new one nice and snug let's put everything back together all right, just another tip these little washers that go onto the bolts for the battery terminals love to get lost into the land of no return so in case that happens get yourself one of these sets oil crush washers these also work as well for bolt washers. Uh, have a link in the description for that. But anyways, yep, just another tip right there. And also, make sure you don't lose any of your clips in there because getting stuff out from there is a pain in the ass. Trust me, I know. All right, we're in the car, pulling over. Gonna do a short test. This car will kick from second to third, so hopefully it won't happen. All right, we're back after a short drive. So far, the condition hasn't come back. No more error messages or whatever. So let's see if this thing will clear the codes. All right, so far, no codes found. That's good. DTCs clear. All right, we're back in the Honda. Had my wife take it out for a drive around town. So last time you saw, there was that permanent code. So basically permanent code is kind of like a history code. Uh, once you fix a problem, it may still be there. So it takes like a drive cycle for it to clear out once the computers detect that there's no more issues. All right, after driving half an hour, I believe the drive cycle is complete. So let's scan this thing, auto scan. All right, no codes, that's good. Let's see if that permanent code is still there. 
oh it's gone it cleared itself so that fix did the trick I'm glad to see that Honda did change the part as the one that I got replaced was still the faulty originals so if you guys ever get the new uh, pressure switch make sure it's the black one I believe it might be the updated one hopefully we'll see how long it lasts but uh, I'm confident that um, you know it'll solve the problem from now on so thank you guys for watching I have a link in the description where you can buy the OEM part on Amazon and all the other tools that I used thank you guys for watching